Hey everybody, welcome to another video. We're going to do something a little different today. Today is a reaction video. Um, I've got some tape of some pickup games that I've been playing, so shout out to the guys who recorded these. Really appreciate them providing the footage. And I'm um, just going to talk through a couple of my thoughts as I'm seeing what happens on the court. Um, some of my thoughts behind what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, so hopefully some of those insights are helpful for you guys looking to um, change up your game a little bit or just getting into basketball season soon. Um, I don't claim to be some kind of expert or a pro, but um, it's just fun for me and um, hope some of the feedback and the thoughts are helpful for you all. Um, the first game, I've got all of the buckets there. Um, it's a higher quality video and I'll provide some feedback as we get through the flow of the game. The second uh, video is a little choppier, quality's not as good. Um, so I just picked a couple of different pieces that I wanted to talk about in that. So let's get into it. All right. So one thing I'll say right away is that I'm guarding the guy in red for most of this game and he's a bigger guy, probably got three or four inches on me, um, a lot of pounds on me, strong, likes to go straight to the hole. And what I'm trying to do here is that I'm picking him up really early so that he doesn't get ahead of steam before charging to the hoop. And so you'll see some of that later on. All right, trying to pick him up full court, make him turn so he doesn't get a lot of momentum going to the basket. Easy bucket. Yeah, ball movement is huge in these games. Um, so I like to get the ball moving side to side as quickly as possible. You see, as I throw that first pass, I thought that was a nice pass, but I caught him right under the basket, and so he didn't have the space to finish. And that was just, yeah, I should not have bid on that pump fake. Um, I was not in position, so I gambled for it, and he got me with the fake. So one thing I had to learn uh, playing pickup is that those little fakes that you just saw me um, throw can open up just that little bit of space so you get a cleaner pass off. My shot was not there that day. And you'll see me like right here on the fast break, I'm running out in front of everybody and I like to use my speed there because as you'll see this play develop, you'll see um, a couple of different guys. Let me see if I can highlight this, maybe not. But you'll see a couple of different guys chase me through the court and that opens up space for other guys to get their shot off in transition. So you see all the space that he has here because I drew the attention of the other defenders, even though he missed it. Nice, another fast break layup. Really want to reward guys for running because um, that motivation will come and go throughout a pickup game. And so you'll see me in that far right side. I'm just trying to box out and keep the big guy out of the lane. Um, but at some point, I got to step in and start helping my guys rebound. So it looks like I'm just standing there and not being really helpful for them. And they get another bucket because I didn't go in and try to help rebound. Pass was too low. He wasn't looking for it. 
And there I actually got the rebound. Push ahead. Pass was a little short there. This was a nice sequence. I want to roll that back a little bit and see if we can watch it again. But you'll see me start... Um, oh, this is the one before. By setting this up, you'll see me start down um, on the left side of the paint on this next play here. So you see me set that screen, gets one guy open, and then I curl around the baseline, which gets me open and gets the defense moving so that we get that nice backdoor cut at the end to get the easy bucket. See, I'm open here, drive, easy back cut for the layup. So a lot of motion along the baseline, screening for other guys, and then cutting after you screen um, can open up some gaps in the defense. And that was one time there I did not pick him up early on, so he just got that full head of steam and was able to spin right around me um, to get the layup. Yeah, shots weren't looking so hot um, that day. <laughs> and here's another thing, you saw that little hitch in his shot. Um, he wasn't sure if he wanted to shoot it. Um, so this can backfire sometimes, but like if you're going to shoot it, just shoot it. And if it doesn't go in, then that's fine. But if you stop halfway and then decide you're going to shoot it, you're setting yourself to miss. I had the nice ankle breaker in the backcourt there, um, but obviously I didn't finish. Uh, I got caught in the air. I thought I wanted to pass it. A big jump there for the rebound. Um, I thought I wanted to pass it, but then I didn't have any angles. I ended up just tossing the air ball. Well, they were hitting. We weren't. That wasn't great transition defense, but he just rushed the shot. <laughs> we just couldn't buy a bucket that game. And one thing um, I'll touch on a little more is that you'll see me walking it up or jogging it up the court at different paces. Usually I like to try to push the ball quickly so that um, the defense doesn't have as much time to get set. Um, and that helps a lot in pickup when guys are still like figuring out matchups and things like that. So um, you'll see, I'll highlight some of the advantages and disadvantages later on. Let's see, I walked it up this time, and the defense had a lot of time to get set, so I wasn't going anywhere with these screens. So we eventually got an open shot, but that wasn't great possession. And there, see, I picked him up before half court, and he was trying to go through me, but I was already there. And I don't know what he was doing with that pass. That was a nice pass. I felt got wasted. Um, but yeah, that's one of those little uh, little pocket passes if you kind of get it on your hip and kind of shovel it in a bounce pass. Um, that can be a nice little entry pass um, really quick and gets it low enough that most guys won't be able to get to it. Tough shot.
Well, that's another thing too on that fast break. Nobody really picked up the ball, so uh, you gotta start talking really early on when they start pushing it up the court. See um, who's gonna stop ball because um, they got an open shot even if it didn't go in. Nice touch there. I see I'm walking it up again. Everyone gets a chance to walk back. So if you're in good shape um, and are well conditioned, then you can take advantage of that. Push the ball up the court, make guys jog, make guys run back, and they won't have as much energy to defend you. I'm running again, have an open shot. Nobody saw me. Oh, we finished it anyway. It's all right. I think this game is to 12, so uh, they should be trying to wrap it up here pretty soon. I get the run out. Oh, I remember this sequence. I overpassed him twice, the same guy. Um, that was a good look ahead. I just got to put a little softer touch on that pass. And again, nobody picked him up in transition, so he had he had the open shot there. Oh, yep. There's a second overpass. My bad. <laughs> Another finish too. That guy's tough to guard down low. He's got a wide base and it's really strong, so it's hard to move him off his spot. Oh, see, I actually connected with him on that pass. Yeah, there I'm yelling someone to get ball. They got all the way to the bucket again. There again, picking up back court, sliding with him, making him turn so he doesn't get a lot of momentum going to the basket and he's gotta dump it off for a shot or for a pass. And we end up with the ball back. And that's, that's why it was important for me to pick him up early on when he's got the ball. Oh, I like the sequence right here. Mm. We're going to watch that back. So you got a sequence here. I got that uh, in and out dribble to behind the back, and then that opened up. So I took a quick peek once I was doing, I think when I was doing my behind the back dribble, Saw my guy cut and yep, so behind the back, look him off. And there it is. There's that same dump off pass I was talking about earlier, just right on my hip. Uh, quick bounce pass entry into the post. Really good for hitting those cutters when um, the defense is looking at you while you're handling the ball around the free throw line area. Sorry, the camera doesn't have. Uh, that side of the court showing. Alright, finally start hitting our shots. Almost got the steal there. But now we're in scramble mode. And yeah, this guy just, nobody gets in his way. Um, yeah, so that was 50-50 whether I should have gone for the steal. I thought I had it. But obviously gambling for it uh, put my team in a bad position and he got the bucket because of it. And there I was open again. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't hit it, but I want to show that sequence again. If we can get to it. Yeah, so you'll see me cut along the baseline through this sequence and I'll end up open on the wing, but they don't find me. So that was another screen, baseline cut, wide open. So especially in pickup, that screen and then cut after you screen um, can open you up pretty nicely. And that's one, one thing I want to highlight here, me in the blue shorts in the background playing defense there. Um, I felt like I was pressuring him, but this is the importance of watching tape. Like, 
I'm actually giving him a lot of airspace right now. Um, so that's something that I can incorporate, try to close up, close that gap a little bit, that I'm not actually as close as I think I am. And because I didn't pressure, he got that easy entry pass, just throwing it over the top of everybody. Um, that's game. All right. So that's game one. Let me find that other video now. So this one, um, this one again is lower quality, but um, just wanted to highlight a couple of things. Um, this is kind of that look off pass that I was talking about earlier. Um, one thing I like to do is that if you uh, get the ball overhead and then you can look one direction and be throwing it in another direction and uh, guys can't really tell where you're planning on going with it. Um, so you'll see that as I uh, leave my guy open, even though he was covered initially by looking off the defender. All right. So he's going to roll and right there, look one direction, throw it down to the baseline, even though he doesn't finish it. That got him deep uh, touching the post. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Picking someone up early. Um, so you'll see me get the ball handler early and that forces him to slow down. Oh wait, nope. I lied. This is where I did not pick him up early and he got a full head of steam to get right to the basket. So you see how far I am from him. And yeah, I got lucky that I was there to get the block after he dumped off the pass, but um, yeah, he should have had an easy layup there. And there's one piece for like smaller guys, like I'm probably one of the shorter guys on the court most of the time. But if you can rebound as a guard, uh, get get the ball out quickly, either by dribbling or by doing a good outlet pass, uh, that makes your offense a whole lot easier. So here, get the rebound, look ahead, easy layup ahead. Not that big guys can't do this, but uh, oh, I just wanted to give a shout out to this guy. Pulled a nice little double move to get. <laughs> Our guy open. That was a sweet move. Oh, so this one, uh, this is again, I get the rebound, I get a quick out, so I just try it, um, and then it's just a foot race. Um, one thing is, I used to be able to run out in front of everybody, but then I would blow the layup, because I was going super fast, like I was trying to go top speed most of the time, and I never practiced hitting layups at top speed, so my layups would go hard off the backboard, or whatever, so that was, that was an important thing. Practice at the speed you plan to shoot and play at. Um, and after I trained that a little bit, then I was able to finish these uh, buckets. So here I get the rebound, just quick run out. I use that speed, but I gotta take advantage of it, so a couple of years ago I probably would have missed that layup. And here you'll see me kind of gather the ball in one hand and pass it all in one motion. And um, that's an important skill to be able to have on the fast break so you don't have to like use both hands and telegraph that you're about to pass. Right there, gather and pass all in one motion. Now, this is what I was talking about, that um, I walk the ball up in this sequence and then everybody's just set in their defense already. So there are no easy um, advantages to exploit because I was slow getting the ball up the court. There's just no space there. I get clamped up. I got to pass it off. So here I'm jogging up. Most guys aren't back yet and we get some space. Easy find for a layup just because I pushed before the defense was ready. So um, that's some footage. I hope you enjoyed watching the games. I hope to have more and do more of this kind of analysis and just kind of talking through what I'm thinking on the fly. Um, it's really fun for me to do and so um, hope to be able to do more of this. Again, shout out to the guys who recorded these and shared it with me. I really appreciate that um, and I'll catch you guys next time.